Hey, we're doing. It's Nick from Virgin Ears here for a review of a beer from Polly's, which is in their core range, but I don't think I've ever had it. This is Little Petal West Coast Pale, coming in at 5.2%. Um, in the near brandy, or relatively near brandy. Um, I think it's been like this for a couple of couple of months. Um, I don't know much about it, it's obviously to say. Uh, did it tell us what hops are in it? Oh, it's unusual for Polly. I haven't never been. Amarillo, Cascade and Simcoe. Okay. So I'm guessing it's going to be like a Westy Pale. Um, interesting. And on the grain bill, it is barley over some wheat. So 5.2% is, you know, they're, they're, these pails, they're okay. But they're not, you know, they're not that intense compared to your doubles or even your triples. So I'm not expecting a, a taste explosion, but... I've had some pails from Overturn, for example, where the ABV has been relatively low, but they've still packed quite a hoppy punch. But um, yeah, let's see. So we've got a pretty pale, fairly pale. It's on the straw territory. A um, little bit of light going through it, yeah, so there's not m that much oats in it. Um, finger of white head, I'm getting quite a nice sort of citrusy aroma off it. Yeah. What are the hops? Is it is it? No? Amarillo, Cascade and Simcoe. Okay. Nevertheless, I'm, that, that, I'm getting citra hop off that, but then I don't know much about Amarillo. I haven't had it on. You know, it's... Um, that's really nice. Is it? Yes, orange. Sherbetty orange is what I'm getting off that. Maybe a tiny little bit of musky, mustiness underneath. But that might just might be my imagination because I've seen it's got Simcoe in it. Um, let's go for it, Chin Chin. I do like that. Um, it's citrusy, lemony, orange, that sort of thing. There is a pleasant sort of grapefruit bitterness running through it. Tiny little bit of sweetness as well, which makes it delicious. The body's very light. I mean, that's incredibly quaffable, it's incredibly sinkable, that is. Very light-bodied, definitely not too sweet. Very, very, very quaffable, I would say this is. There's no harsh bitterness, there's a little bit of sort of, you know, grapefruity hobby bitterness. Um, there's no dankiness in this at all. I'm not getting any dankiness. Well, okay, maybe midway through. But then you don't have that classic sort of funky, you know, slightly pick and mixy dank that you, you tend to get with um, Simcoe. Mind you, there's not that much Simcoe in it, it's last in the bill. Cascade. Mm, interesting. Sorry, fridge has just gone off. Um, that's really good, yeah. That, um, I've got this from the, where did I get this from? Mine's gone blank. Polly's, so I bought this direct from Polly's. Um, I think it cost in the region of just under four quid maybe. Yeah, so, yeah, I think it's three pounds something. So comparing that to similar things such as Faith from Northern Monk, you know, it's more expensive than that. Slightly, but I do like faith. But I'd, I'd say this is, um, we've had the two, just about choose this. So, rating. Thinking now what rating I gave to faith, can't remember. So I'll just rate it as it is. I'll give it 
seven and a half out of ten, which is a good rating for me. Six and above, I'd buy it again, even though it's not my sort of thing. Pails are not the the, the first thing I'd go for, um, but yeah, it's decent, quaffable. Um, good one, police. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.